eighth meeting all time. Texas leads the series 6 1. Last year, they blew them out. In Oxford, Texas won it 66 to 31. But this is a much different Ole Miss team now. Confident, energetic, and filled with youth that can flat out play. Nick Rose to kick away. And Jalen Walton set back deep. But Rose will boot it right up against the back wall. So it'll go for a touch five as they marked off the penalty. And they go once again with Jeff Scott. And Scott utilizing, patiently utilized the corner. So they attack that side. This time it's Wallace pulling it and successfully doing so as he says to the one we saw out of Andrew Ritter, the place kicker for the Reds. And this is a quick pass to the near sideline. Complete right over the middle, and it's the freshman, Evan Ingram. And another first down. Here's Wallace on the quarterback keeper again. And Wallace gets it. Here's Scott, straight up the middle, leg drive all the way in. Ole Miss made it look too easy. On you, you're going backwards. Ritter for target in a spot like this. Third and ten. The late oh, handoff oh. goes nowhere. Malcolm Brown was just eaten. Second and ten. Quick strike again. It's Holder. We're already seeing freeze do with the quarterbacks. Let's look and see where this ball should be spotted. No, he's short of that. Well, he's short of. Wallace back in at quarterback. Play action. Swings it out. And this is Ingram. Wallace. Going to take a shot. Flag is down. And into the end zone is Moncrief. We will check on the flag as Moncrief just coasted in. And Wallace hit him in strong. Your responsibility is deep. It's six quick. Going up against one of the best receivers in the SEC. Gray again gets in the open space. Helmet came off there on the horns. First down at the 45 now. And here is Davis. And delay handoff. And once again, Jonathan Gray with a good burst up the middle. McCoy. Gets it complete for a first down to Davis. Four minutes in. As Case McCoy continues to march him down. Sets up the screen for Davis. Blockers in front as he strolls right in. Longhorns are on the board. He had Hopkins and it opened the middle of the field. 13. Wallace. That was batted down. Second and 11. Here's McCoy now looking to extend the play. And can he turn it upfield? Here goes McCoy. And he fights his way for a first. Joe Bergeron in the I formation, the tailback. And Bergeron with one little shift to the backfield with McCoy on first down. Sanders able to keep his footing. Good balance that time. Third down and eight. Need to get inside that four yard line for a first down. McCoy to the end zone. Davis went up for it, but it was a little too long, a little too far as he was covered by Mike Hilton. That was good defense. First field goal attempt of the season. And you see Farah. That smooth, confident. Scott again, yet to be touched. Jeremy Tunsil, one of the biggest recruits in the country, the true freshman starting tonight. They stay with Scott on the ground, and why not? Another first down for the. 
Wallace quickly gets rid of it, and quickly coming up is Phillips. Nicely done, Wallace can flag that here. Fourth down and four. He's looking that way, and it was batted again. Third time that's happened tonight. Cedric Reed in quarter from his defense. Here's Shipley now. Jackson Shipley with a big move out past midfield. Series, they taped up both ankles for good measure, Joe. Here's McCoy on second and two, Kaylee, and he slides for a... Here's Davis. Tiptoe on the sidelines, Mike Davis, and they're going Ray again. And it'll be first and goal. Can Gray get to the corner? Yes! Texas takes the lead. So it backs it up to a first and 11. Wallace. Ball came loose That's there. And it looks like Texas has it. I think Jackson Jeffcoat is sitting on it, and he is. That is a turnover in prime real estate for the Longhorn. We go conservative with Brown. That's a win. Dirty. Trans. Pressure again. And Wallace unable to convert. And once again. Joe Bergeron with a hole, ran into his own man, and then regained his footing. What they're doing is just good, smart football. Play action. McCoy has time over the middle and gets it complete to Sanders. And Kendall Sanders. They keep it on the ground on third and ten. And Gray just gets inside the 31 yard. Seven. And that's the leg talent of Anthony. Oh, Wallace downfield. That'll stop the clock with the first down to Jordan Holder. That's going to be. Wallace pressured and he was chased down by Jackson Jeffco. So the targeting penalty puts them in field goal range and Ritter connects from 52. And this time they go to Moncrief and the Rebels have another. Here's Treadwell. You see that long strike. <laughs> we'll really get that complete to Scott. And Scott has wrestled down at the 35. Here's Scott. Cuts to the inside, and he's sensibly balanced. Second and nine. And look at the room this time for Bo Wallace spins his way into the end zone. A 15-yard touchdown run from the athletic quarterback, Bo Wallace. And Ritter looking to break this tie. And the extra point done. In Austin, kind of fork in the road moment for this team and this program. Goes underneath that time, and Mike Davis will be wrestled down at the. Let's see if Wallace notices. Take it. Instead, it's a design quarterback run, and Wallace gets it. First down, Rebels. Deep. And Wallace finds a pocket in that zone with Treadwell. Wow, oh, that's yards, but it's Wallace keeping there. This time he passes off of it, and he finds Treadwell in the seam there, and that's a big gainer down to the 18. Come out strong in the second half. 
right in stride and right into the end zone is Evan Ingram. Boy, oh boy, did Wallace craft something there. Outside, Ingram fills the void, and here comes the ball for six. Now it is in their favor. Third and seven. Case McCoy looking to extend the play. Oh, that was dangerous, but it goes incomplete as he was looking for Sanders. And he came after that one a bit. Farrah got a good kickoff. And Scott returns. From inside the 30, he made a miss, and he's still on his feet. Oh, there was a block there at midfield as Scott picks up a front end of blockers that carry him all the way to the end zone. No flag is down. 73-yard punt return touchdown. Jeff Scott. They got away with one, test. There was a block at mid. You were going to see a penalty flag. And Ooh. that extra Ooh. point. That was blocked. Was blocked. Third down. McCoy. Trying to get away from a little pressure up the middle that goes incomplete as he was going under. No pressure off the edge. He sprints to the other side. And that is incomplete as it went right off the hands of Dante Mont. Mike Davis, take advantage of what they're giving you. This is complete to Sanders. And Sanders will be a couple of yards short. Bergeron. Oh, he stumbled in the backfield with all that pressure in the back here. Jackson Shipley's the guy. Ace McCoy. He goes to Shipley. Diving effort. It is right at... McCoy. Oh, oh. that ball came loose. Malcolm Brown ran right into Case McCoy as he was winding up. That's a fumble. Mike Mary came out. And Ole Miss has it. Brown stepped forward, McCoy was winding up, and the ball came loose. Strikes the Texas offense, and now Ole Miss in prime position. And look at Jeff Scott. What did you say? Sudden? He is sudden. Undoubtedly. You know who he reminds me? 149 yards rushing. How about a few more? Untouched until he was about 13. They've been trying to drill that message in. All year long, especially this week. Ain't happening. Not at all. Jalen Walton. From a turnover at one end, with a running back going right into McCoy. And that extra point was when Malcolm Brown ran into Case McCoy. Here's McCoy right over the middle, and he's able to get it complete out to midfield to Jackson Shipley. There's still an there. Here's fourth and seven. McCoy slings it to the near side. And then they third down and eight. Oh, nice. And Mathers, move. look at the moves as Mathers was able to snake his way close to a guess out tonight. And he's just going to toss this away here on fourth and six. Put together down there is they're pretty darn good. Here's Mike Davis, in third and 12. And he will take a seat there at the five here for Texas. McCoy almost tripped up, keeps the play alive, and that ball was batted. So a can beat you guys. Loss up in premier tailgating spot in all of college football. They may be having. One or two to celebrate a road win and 3 0. The first time Ole Miss has been 3 0 since 1989. Two. Starting the season 1 and 2. Last time they did that, his first season back in 98. From high hopes and a preseason ranking to back to back losses and a defense giving up a lot of yards. Ole Miss had 449 total yards tonight. Special teams gave way with a 73-yard punt return touchdown by Jeff Scott.